All right, so things we did not talk about tonight. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll close with one quick demo of another cool thing. Uh, the thing we didn't get to tonight was using screen and tmux. So, shot here. I would encourage you to look these up on your own time. So, one program is called screen, one program is called tmux. Uh, they do the same thing. tmux is a slightly newer version, screen's older school. These are what we call terminal multiplexers. Uh, what these do is, you can see the problem with SSH is, when I SSH to a machine, if I'm running a big job there, it's going like, to take four hours to run. Like, What do I do? Does it just tie up my terminal the whole time? Wouldn't it be nice if you could log out, go to other things, and then SSH again and later, and your program's still there running? Well, by default, when you close your SSH session, it kills any jobs you're running, so you can't keep things running unless you stay logged in. Screen and Tmux provide an easy way around this. So essentially, you SSH into the computer, you run screen, it launches like what looks like another terminal, you run your program in that terminal, then you can do what's called detaching screen. So you can essentially tell screen to keep running that in the background, close your SSH session, shut down your local computer, come back a few hours later, SSH again, reconnect to your screen session, and it'll bring you right back to whatever you were doing before in that terminal. I mean, so the main use case is you have a big job running, but also maybe a Emacs file that you don't want to save, and you want to just keep Emacs open the whole time. Screen and Tmux will let you do that. There are also, the other problem with SSH is if your network connection fails, your connection dies, right? So if you're halfway through editing a big file and you haven't been saving frequently, and all of a sudden the wireless goes down, you're kind of screwed. If your SSH connection died, it probably killed Emacs, and it probably didn't save at first. Um, if you were running something like screen and everything dies, screen will save that in the background. When your internet connection comes back, you can SSH back in, you can reconnect to screen, you'll be right back where you were before. It essentially provides a layer of protection should your connection die. Also, it does a ton of other cool things. Screen was really invented not even for this SSH stuff it does, it's kind of just a bonus. Screen was existed, existed for the days before you could do this, right? So today on a terminal, I can just open up a new tab. And if I want to do multiple things at once, I can just start working on a tab. Well, Back before we had GUIs, you didn't have tabs, right? So screen actually lets you basically work, it's like having multiple tabs at the same time, and you can like page through them, but it's all done directly in the terminal. So sometimes you use screen even not with SSH, if you just wanna like run four different programs at the same time, all in one tab, you run screen, there's a hotkey where you can essentially rotate through which terminal you're currently on. It's the older school version of having all of these tabs for different 